welcome to another exciting episode of Talk of the Town. I'm your host Kavita Shah and today we take you to a special one-on-one -on -one interview with Mira Gandhi, founder of the Giving Back Foundation. The foundation was started in 2010 with the hopes to help the children in India and has been successful through establishing certain platforms. Let's hear about these platforms and the successes from the founder herself. with Mira Gandhi, CEO and founder of the Giving Back Foundation. How are you doing today? Very well, thank you for being here. So for our viewers that don't know about your foundation, can you tell us a little bit about it? Sure, um, the Giving Back Foundation was founded in 2010 as a catalyst to assist women and children in education, to empower them through education. Our second platform is to be a momentum for people to promote their ideas. And the third, which is our newest platform, is the platform of mindfulness, because we began to see that even people who are successful um, needed a different kind of help. How did you start this foundation? Well, in 2010, we had moved to Hong Kong and uh, it was a time of uh, tremendous success, personal success for myself and my husband, my family, my kids. But there was sort of a sense of, um, a sense that something was lacking and even though I was doing a lot of charity work, I felt that I was not able to really be involved with the end product. And so in 2010, the Giving Back Foundation was founded and it has enabled us to directly work with the projects that we want to assist. Speaking of powerful females, um, I know you had worked with Mother Teresa. Tell us about that. That must have been an amazing experience. When I was 16, I worked uh, on an Interact project at Ashadan, and the project finished in two weeks, and after that, I just continued to go back every Saturday. I met Mother Teresa many times. The interesting thing is, every time I met Mother Teresa, once I had just finished feeding a child, and Mother took him from me, she had just come in from Calcutta, and the child burped all over her sari, and I talk about that in my book, and Mother just laughed. She said, oh, now the food is digested. Um, I met her at once, I taught all the kids to dance, some of them were dancing on their bellies with their hands and I had a little tape recorder and I brought in saris and, and Mother Teresa came to me and she hugged me after that and she said that was really something. She's like I hear you come here every Saturday. She gave me another hug and uh, those hugs have really stayed with me a lifetime. And that must have been the roots of your journey, right? I think so, I think so, but I think the roots are as for most people, even though they don't realize it, their roots are really sown in their childhood and at home because 90% of your learning is really done in your home environment. And do you have any role models that you look up to? Of course I have role models. Uh, my, my mom is my role model. Uh, Eleanor Roosevelt is a role model. Hillary Clinton is a role model. My dear friend Cherie Blair is a, a tremendous role model. She's brilliant. She's uh, uh, She has her own law firm and she's also a judge uh, currently in the UK Supreme Court. Uh, my kids are my role models. Every time I'm with Kiran, who is AKA Madam Gandhi, I should say hashtag Madam Gandhi, she is an incredible drummer and uh, she's just been signed by a major label. She inspires me. Kanika inspires me the way she is so organized about her life. She is, she wants to be a lawyer. She is 23. I know 
the Giving Back Foundation is involved with multiple philanthropic programs. So tell us a little bit about some of the stuff that you're working on. One of the key projects that I'm very proud about that the Giving Back Foundation has been involved in is the St. Michael's Giving Back Project. We run a school in India for 120 girls from marginalized families who without our foundation would really be without a shot in life, so to speak. Um, they are kids of marginal, marginalized people, um, sex workers, street dwellers, and we take them into the school. Uh, now the upper school is being refurbed and it's an ongoing project that I am extremely, extremely proud of. The girls are growing well and uh, it's just a superb thing that I think we are associated with. How do you fund something like that? Well, largely the foundation has been family funded because um, in 2010 when we started the foundation, we put millions of dollars into the foundation. We are seven years old and we have started to raise money from the public. We had a gala at the Pierre in 2014 and so this year we did the Ledgewood Mindfulness Retreat. I think we actually made more money at our Ledgewood Mindfulness Retreat than we have made from the gala. So uh, definitely it seems to us that this is also a direction that people want to be involved in. They, they want to attend things like that where they come and support a cause but they also leave enriched, peaceful, mindful, and that's important. In November for Thanksgiving, we would like to launch our Giving Back fragrance. And the fragrance has 28 ingredients. A lot of the ingredients have our lavender, patchouli, cinnamon, very calming elements. And uh, it has a very, very high concentrate of juice. So people who spray on that perfume are instantly going to feel more centered. And I'm so excited that we're going to launch this. We also have the candle which has been extremely successful and has sold very well. We are going to sell the candle with the fragrance as well. And uh, we think that the product line is really in tandem with um, what we're doing at the foundation. Speaking of treats, I know you've also came up with a book, a coffee table book called Giving Back. So tell us a little bit about that. I started the book first and in researching the book, I made a film which covered 10 charities that had meant a lot to me. The, the film is out. And then the book covers 75 charities because I had worked with 75 charities. And my foundation and my idea of the book was really the first of its kind that actually sold 50,000 copies worldwide. And uh, that's what the Giving Back book was about. So also, you directed and produced the film yourself, right? How was that experience? I had completely no knowledge. I just wanted to make a film and typical Mira, I'm like, fine, let's go do it. I think uh, the film turned out to be great because um, it was edited in Famous Studios in Bombay. But um, when I got to Famous Studio, I had a, like a bag of little tapes and I got there and I said, you know, I want to edit this film here. And they looked at me, they said, you know, Miraji, we do Bollywood films and Hollywood films. You know, we, we don't do this kind of work. They looked at my shopping bag and were like, they're like, what is that? I'm like, oh, that's the footage. They're like, um, no, we don't do that kind of work. But uh, I'm so glad that they did work with me and their production company, iCup Films, ended up really producing a fabulous film. It's 13 minutes. It's right on, two, three minutes about every charity. It's, it's very sharp. You have received some awards, including the NYC Mayor Award. So how does it feel to be recognized for all the work that you do? It's very validating and I'm very grateful for um, people who give me these awards. But I think the what awards do is that they validate us and they tell us, listen, you're on the right track. And for that reason, I think these awards are just terrific. What are some of your future goals? I think that the foundation is ever unfolding. 
I think I really want to develop this mindfulness platform because I think now our foundation wants to be that meeting ground of those who have and don't have and both supporting each other but both receiving. So I think this mindfulness platform is really something I am going to be pushing because I feel that people who support the foundation should also receive. Whether they're rich or poor or successful or not, if they step forward to help us, they must really receive. We are going to continue to reach out to people who, who need help. I mean, that's the point of the foundation. We're going to do the best we can. Do you have any messages for our followers? I do, I do. I think that if you feel passionate about something, don't wait for someone, don't wait to be recruited. Just go ahead, do it. Contact people, send a tweet out, get involved, because um, if you're ready to do it, just do it. Don't wait for people, because you could be waiting a long time and life could be very short. viewers find you and more about your foundation? Um, please find us at thegivingbackfoundation.net which is www.thegivingbackfoundation.net um, It's Mira Gandhi at thegivingbackf which is our Twitter feed and uh, you know we are now I think 10 or 20,000 uh, Twitter followers so I mean the Twitter is something you might enjoy. Uh, we are on Instagram, we are the Giving Back Foundation on Instagram, and uh, Facebook is the Giving Back Foundation. So you can find us on social media, you can find us at our website, um, you can write to us, team at thegivingbackfoundation.net. We check all our messages, and we would love to hear from you. <laughs>